everybody. Welcome to Homestead. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jared. The high strangeness continues. Okay, you may have seen this already. I saw this last night uh, after the live stream. If you didn't see that live stream, make sure to check it out uh, and check out any other live streams you may have missed. Um, but I was going to bed, got a alert on my phone, and uh, the alert said, okay, it was like a news you know, notification. It said that there was a meteor that exploded over Texas. Okay, there were at least there was like a big boom that was heard. And uh, this comes just two days after that really bright meteor over France and southern England. Okay, and uh, I have some I have some thoughts on this. Okay, not only these meteors but also these objects, and uh, I'll share that in a little bit, but. Uh, regardless of why they're occurring, I would classify all these as signs. I would. I think these are signs in the heavens. So, okay, so let's just get some of the basic details to start it off. Okay, so this is near McAllen, Texas, okay? Uh, specifically, if we go to Google Earth, um, it was basically near... A place called Mission, Texas, which it looks like that's kind of a, like a suburb of uh, McAllen. You know, it's part of that this uh, area right here. And it wasn't like right over Mission. I think it was a few miles. You know, I can't remember. I think it says in the article, but this is basically the er the area in question. So you zoom out if you're not familiar with the geography of Texas. This is like at the very southern part of Texas, right on the border with Mexico. Okay, right here. All right, so McAllen, Texas. South Texas law enforcement is investigating a meteorite impact west of McAllen. New video. Footage captures the meteorite around 5 p.m. Wednesday, trailing across Mission, Texas. Uh, I'm not going to play this here, but this is <laughs> this video is mind-blowing to me because it shows the meteor, and it's traveling for it, it lasts for so long and the person taking this video why didn't you continue until it was all the way done um so they started filming while it was already in progress obviously they noticed something in the sky and so they weren't able to record all of it but they started recording as soon as they could i assume and then it just like slowly uh you know, from our point of view, it looks slow, but obviously it's traveling really fast. It slowly makes its way across the sky, and it is pretty fantastic. Uh, so I would highly recommend to watch this video. I'll put the link for it in the description below if you haven't. Uh, okay, so witnesses said the meteorite impact caused a quote-unquote loud noise and reportedly caused quote-unquote shaking on the ground. Okay, this is very reminiscent of, uh, you know, what happened just a few months ago in uh, September 2022 <coughs> in Utah. You remember this? On the 13th of August 2022, there was a meteor over Salt Lake, heard all the way from southern Idaho down to Provo, Utah, which is a rather large area. But there we had a large meteor that um, was seen and cause a large, a loud boom. Um, so now it's happening over here in Texas. All right. And uh, there's some really interesting details about this. I'm getting to it. Don't worry. Okay. So officials, officials said that they were notified by Houston Air Traffic Control that two aircrafts had reported seeing a meteorite. The exact point of impact remains undetermined, according to Sheriff Eddie Guerra. Uh, while no damage was reported, law enforcement said they received multiple reports from concerned residents that heard the impact. And here's the sheriff's um, Twitter right there. Okay, that's it for that article. Um, a few more things. Okay, possible meteors, possible meteor shakes Texas neighborhoods. Now, here's the first really fascinating thing. Th th now, this is just fascinating. What you see here on the screen, this is Shelyabinsk, Russia, and I've covered this a number of times. I've done a number of videos about uh, meteorites, right? Um, you can do a search for meteor, or I'll just put these links in the description below. Here's this one, Signs in the Heavens, the Shelyabinsk Meteor, 
Um, then this one talking about the two Utah meteors. <coughs> this one talking about a meteor. So I'll put these links in the description below. I did a live stream about the, the Utah meteor. So I'm not going to cover all the details of, of those different meteors in Utah and Russia, but you can go check that out. But uh, so why do they have the picture of the Shelyabinsk meteor here? It's because this, what happened yesterday was uh, exactly 10 years after this happened in Russia. Okay, the Shelyabinsk meteor. And this got a lot of attention because this one actually uh, caused damage to buildings on the ground. Uh, and it also uh, caused injuries, uh, mostly people that had uh, like glass fly in their face, you know, from shattered windows and maybe things falling off shelves or whatever. But this one actually had a, a physical impact on uh, the residents below. Uh, there is this video, which is a pretty good compilation of uh, the meteor. Because in Russia, I guess they have issues with, you know, car insurance. So everybody has a dash cam to prove what happened during an accident. And thankfully, uh, that's the case because there were a lot of people that were able to capture this as it, as it occurred. And uh, like I've said in other videos, you know, right here, it looks like it's like the morning sun. But no, this is the meteor exploding and lighting up the sky if it wasn't for this exploding right here it, it would be all dark and you can see the see that when you play the video in fact let me just go back look how look how dark it is right here you can tell that the sun's coming up but it's not up yet and then the meteor appears and it looks like the sun is up this, this is a and actually this is this was a terrifying event uh, even whenever i watch it and i listen to the boom it kind of scares me <laughs> to, the, to the core. I imagine that it would have been really frightening to have been there when that occurred. So you have these two large meteors that cause booms over their respected areas 10 years apart to the day. 10 years apart to the day. Okay, so I have some thoughts about that, but let's read some of this article first. A mysterious object crashed into Texas this week, shaking neighborhoods near McAllen in the southern part of the state near its border with Mexico. Officials believe the object was a meteorite, but don't yet know where it landed. The, Al the Alton Police Department, about 11 miles from McAllen, said they received several calls from residents who heard what sounded like an explosion after 5 p.m. on Wednesday. The department said they heard other neighboring towns receive similar reports. Photos and videos taken in the area show uh, photos and videos taken in the area showing what appeared to be a meteor streak through the sky have been shared on Twitter. Other home security videos <coughs> show the earth shake and a loud boom occur when the meteor apparently landed. Here, here it is being picked up on um, whatever this is. I'm not sure if this is radio or something else. Uh, there's been reports of a possible meteorite this evening west of McAllen. One of the satellite tools we use is the geostationary lighting, lightning mapper. Okay, uh, it's not radar. And it measures lightning as observed from space. So, okay, so that platform observed it. Here it is right here, this blue um, rhombus. Okay, Hidalgo County Sheriff Eddie Guerra said federal agencies told him that Houston Air, Air Traffic Control received reports from two aircrafts about a meteorite spotted west of McAllen. Uh, this is from the sheriff. Quote, <clears throat> where the exact point of impact is, okay, where the exact point of impact is unknown, no reports of any chain damage in that area has been received, end quote. Meteorites are meteors from space that enter Air Earth's atmosphere and hit the ground. According to NASA, about once a year, an asteroid the size of a car enters Earth's atmosphere, but they burn up before reaching the surface, creating an impressive fireball that streaks through the sky, NASA says. Okay. What else? What else? Here's the sheriff. And I must say, he has a very impressive mustache. Let's see. Here it says, uh, Police Chief Cesar Torres said that said they began receiving calls shortly after 6 p.m. and they have now received hundreds of calls from citizens who quote unquote heard the earth shake. So there were a lot of people that um experienced this. 
on this website, on San Antonio Express News, they have some uh, door cams that captured the explosion. So I'll put that in the description below in case you want to see that. Here's a picture of it on uh, Why on News. Meteor spotted over Texas residents heard the earth shake. Okay. Uh, here is the <coughs> American Meteor Association. And these are the reports that they received. So you can see that um, the direction that it was traveling was kind of northeast. Or oh my gosh, northwest right here. Uh, it looks like it was seen as far north as San Antonio and uh, over here too. Okay. So, um, okay. So let's go back here. So we have this happen in Texas yesterday on February 15th, 10 years before we had this happen over here in Russia over Shelyabinsk. <clears throat> Interestingly, Shelyabinsk looks like it's on the border of Russia and Kazakhstan, right? So that's there's kind of a similarity there. Um, here's an article that just talks about the fact that these two events happened 10 years apart on Gizmodo. 10 years ago today, the Shelyabinsk meteor exploded over Russia. So you can check that out. Now, this is where things kind of get interesting. You might remember that something similar happened recently where he had um, something happened that happened on the exact same day, X number of years before. Uh, that happened back in September on the 19th. You'll recall that there were these twin earthquakes. Uh, they were the largest of the year, 7.6 for the year 2022. The first one was on the 10th in Papua New Guinea, but the second one was in Mexico. And uh, the interesting thing about the Mexico quake is that it happened on the same day that other powerful quakes hit Mexico years before. So uh, right here I have recorded same day as the 1985 8.0 earthquake and the 2017 7.1 earthquake. All right. So that's kind of weird, isn't it? I actually I pulled it up here just to so, you know, to verify and give you something to uh, check out if you want to look more into it. Uh, fact check. Did earthquake hit Mexico on same day three times? And uh, yeah, it did. So, you know, we can, we can trust that in Newsweek. Um, a powerful earthquake hit Western Mexico on Monday, leading many people to fear that the date September 19th may be, what, be an omen of disaster. The magnitude 7.6 quake killed two people in building collapses and caused damage to over 200 buildings in the Pacific Coast state of Colima. But is there a pattern as some have implied? Some ob observers pointed out that simil similarly powerful earthquakes have hit Mexico before on this date in 1985 and 2017. They also say this is too spooky to be coincidence with September 19th apparently with September 19th apparently a cursed day for Mexico. All right. Later on, powerful earthquakes did in, did indeed hit Mexico on September 19th in these three years. An 8.0 magnitude earthquake on September 19th in 1985, a 7.1 magnitude one in 2017, and now this week's quake. In 2017, 370 people were killed, 228 of them who lived whom lived in Mexico City, and 6,000 were injured. In 1985, the quake killed around 5,000 people injured about 30,000 and left 100,000 homeless. So this most recent one uh, was far less deadly uh, than these other ones, but it's still very strange that it happened on the same day. Okay, and it's look at this. It says, the coincidence is indeed surprising. It had just a 0.00075% chance of occurring, an expert told Bloomberg. Others speculated that the likelihood could be as little as 0.00000024%. Um, okay. And then Newsweek. Uh, but this doesn't justify <laughs> superstitious or paranormal explanations or identifying purported patterns. 
Earthquakes of these magnitudes or higher are relatively common in Mexico. The country is regularly affected by seismic activity that stems from the movement of the North American plate against the Cocos and Pacific plates, making it an extremely seismically active region. Well, Newsweek, I'm not sure that you're qualified to tell me that it doesn't justify significance. Okay. Um, really, all that you can do is say something like this. Uh, <clears throat> that the coincidence is surprising because they think that there's just a 0.00075% chance. Just just stick with that. Okay. I don't need you to tell me that it doesn't have any meaning. Uh, you're not really in a position to do so. But anyway... So you have these earthquakes. Now you have these two meteors. Now, <clears throat> what strikes me is the locations where these uh, meteors have taken place. All right. So in 2013, here, I'm going to go up to 2023 to present. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to go. I'm going to go down to 2013. Let me zoom out. I wish there was an easy way to skip down. Okay, so right here in the purple, right? The 15th of February, <clears throat> 2013, 10 years ago, you had the Shelyabinsk meteor over Russia. And a year later, that's when Russia invades the Ukraine and annexes Crimea. So you could look at that one way. You could say, well, <clears throat> this is kind of like um, the Shelyabinsk meteor was kind of like a sign to Russia or a sign to the world like, hey, uh, bad things are coming for Russia and the Lord's not happy and here's a sign of uh, displeasure. And that could be what that was. But when you look at the locations of these two, these two most recent meteors, one was over France and southern England, and one was over Texas, so the United States. Now, if you've been following Russia's conflict with Ukraine and the invasion, you know, <laughs> you know that Russia is pretty upset um, at the West, but primarily two nations, the United Kingdom and the United States. Do you remember when we covered this story here? Um, Russia just threatened to destroy Ireland and Britain with a nuclear tsunami. So I'm not going to read all this, but essentially they've developed um, or they're developing. I, I can't remember if they have it done yet, but basically they have. A, well, OK, yeah, I'll just read it. If the British continue to send weapons to Ukraine, then Britain and Ireland face destruction by a nuclear tsunami. That's the unmistakable message from Russian media, which recently ran two animated videos depicting nuclear strikes on the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. The videos, which ran on state-owned television channel Russia One, were narrated by Dmitry Kisilov, uh, a television presenter known as Putin's mouthpiece. The first video shows a submarine launching a Poseidon, uh, Russia's notorious thermonuclear armed torpedo designed to create a giant radioactive tsunami that destroys enemy coast, coastal cities. Quote, the explosion of this thermonuclear torpedo by Britain's coastline will create a giant tsunami wave up to 500 meters or 1,640 feet high, uh, Kisilov warned, according to a BBC, a BBC journalist who translated the videos. Continuing, he says, such a barrage alone carries extreme doses of or radiation. Having passed over the British Isles, it will turn whatever might be left into a radioactive desert. And uh, we looked at that animation. <clears throat> In fact, I think you can find it here. Okay, let's pull it up. I'm not going to play it, but stop. But it does show the tsunami essentially covering the entire uh the entire island both islands of both ireland and great britain so russia has been threatening the united kingdom uh, they've been threatening anybody that's supporting uh ukraine you know and giving them aid so could it be <clears throat> could it be that these meteors um 
are in some kind of way related to Russia and Ukraine. And could these actually be not uh, natural occurrences? Meaning, you know, we already know that they have the ability to manipulate weather. And there's been a lot of theories out there about certain uh, natural disasters and events that, you know, could have been done uh, by not natural means, right? So if these respective powers have found a way to uh, weaponize weather, could they have found a way to weaponize space? In fact, do you remember this right here? Russia's Armageddon plan to save Earth from collision with asteroid. Space scientists in Russia are preparing to boldly go where no man has gone before, except for actor Bruce, Bruce Willis. The head of the Russian space agency said today that it was considering a Hollywood-style mission to send a spacecraft to bump a large asteroid from a possible collision course with Earth. So there's that. Recently, there was the DART. Um, let's see, asteroid. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Google put like a little uh, animation on there when you look that up. Let's see, DART mission over. Well, uh, let's let's look at the Wikipedia. Okay, double asteroid redirection test was a NASA space mission aimed at testing a method of planetary defense against near-Earth objects, or NEOs. It was designed to assess how much a spacecraft impact uh, deflects an asteroid through its transfer of momentum when hitting the asteroid head-on. So you see where I'm going with this. Um, both Russia and the United States are uh, engaged in deflecting meteors and asteroids away from earth well can they can they weaponize it and maybe direct some toward earth and can they actually direct them to uh spots on earth where they want them to go so if we look at it through that lens you know back in 2013 was that the united states or the west sending a message to russia like hey don't do it don't you think about Ukraine? And then 10 years later, to the day, Russia uh, sends that message back at us over Texas. And then two days before that, uh, over southern England or near England. They threatened, threatened the, the UK with a nuclear tsunami. And uh, this happened around the same time that the Texas meteor happened. I can't say for sure. No one can. No one can. There's no way to to prove that. Uh, you know, somebody <coughs> somebody knows. Either they know that that's not true, or they're like, uh, "Yep, that's right. That's what's going on." But that might be an explanation for these really odd dates. You know, ten years to the day. Seriously. And the two countries are Russia and the United States. And then two days before, it's the UK and France. And um, <laughs> just, I, I don't know. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I did check uh, meteor showers. There is one going on right now. The Alpha Centaurids meteor shower which runs from the 31st of January to the 20th of February. So uh, maybe it's just simply part of that. Um, none of these articles I read mentioned it, but maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't think I had anything else. You know, a lot of you have talked about earthquakes and how those, some of those seem to be artificial. And I just, I don't have enough to really comment on that uh, i wouldn't be surprised i mean how hard could it be now why would someone hit turkey uh i don't know i don't know um i know some people aren't happy about uh what's his name Erdogan, Erdogan, padawan let's see turkey prime minister uh recep 
Erdogan. I think it's pronounced Erdogan. Someone corrected me. You guys are always anxious to do that. Erdogan. So I don't know. Maybe someone's upset about Turkey. I don't know. But okay. So that's what's going on. So I got that added to my list. Uh, all I can say for sure is there's a lot of stuff going a lot of stuff going on in the heavens this year. Again, just a quick review. <coughs> okay, so we had the Chinese surveillance balloon that crossed the entire continent and went over um, it went over the Kansas City area. We had the bolt of lightning that struck uh, the Christ the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro which by itself is not necessarily unusual. It's just the fact that somebody caught it and uh, it created a really impressive visual to look at. And then we had the three objects shot down by the U.S. military over Alaska, Yukon, Canada, and uh, Michigan. And then we had these uh, pretty extraordinarily bright meteors, one over uh, between France and uh, southern England, and then the one yesterday over texas a lot is going on this year all right well that's gonna be it for this one so if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe like this video if you liked it leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below also make sure to share it and i'll talk to you guys later